this is Al from Nardog and uh, in this time I'm gonna show you on how to create uh, Instagram stories with using Photoshop so uh, we're gonna go straight to file and create a new document with the standard HD size which is 1080 by 920 and the resolution set it to 72 and then click on create so we already got the Instagram story size standard so the next step is creating a content so I'm just gonna add image that I have downloaded And make it fit with the artboard you can use save while scaling the image so it don't wrap badly I think it's good and we add text I'm going to make it line center. Let's find the right font for this. I think I'm going to use Montserrat with the black weight. And I'm going to adjust the leading. You can do this without shortcut on window and paragraph oh sorry on character and you can adjust it in this tab I'm going to add drop shadow via blending options. I'm gonna realign the text with the image so it look good. It look good. And I'm gonna add a little text that say swipe up, swipe up to check it. Just the kerning. So if you have finished the designs, the next step is gonna be animating it. So make sure you have finished and not gonna change anything to prevent any error so if you are sure enough you can continue by go to window and press timeline and create video timeline so you will be pre presented with this list of layers
so I'm gonna make it from the image uh, this text and then swipe up appearing one after another for the image I'm gonna add some effect which is fade in I'm gonna add fade and drag it into the layer the timeline layer not this one so you can see that the image will fade in slowly and since the standard instagram stories length is 15 seconds we can just expand this and make it 15 seconds Fourteen and then yeah, fifteen. And the next thing is we're gonna make this text move in into the artboard. To do that, you can expand this layer and click. Make sure this cursor is on the beginning of the timeline, and you can click transform. And then you can choose how long that the effect gonna last since it will be moving I'm gonna make it moving within two seconds sorry so uh, I'm I want to make it move after this effect is done so you can move the this mark to the beginning in here and you can count two seconds like one and two I think this is 30 frames per second yes this is 30 so from one to two it's one second if you goes to 1 to 15 frame it will be a half of a second since I wanted the effect to be only one second I'm gonna put the cursor here and put another mark in here by clicking this button see not this one but the left one after that I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and move the cursor to the first one and click it make sure you are choosing the right layer this text layer and move this text i'm i'm gonna use shift so the proportional of the alignment will not be changed move it to the bottom okay i'm gonna zoom out So if I just drag it around like this, you can see the effect coming. Yeah. So the last thing is this swipe up to check it. I'm gonna animate it one second after the second effect is done. I'm gonna expand it, click transform. And then gonna mark this in here and put another mark so I want this to have fed in plus move in so to do that I will move the beginning of the layer to this time and click the fade in effect and then drag it also click this mark and you can press edit transform again or just press ctrl t command if you're using mac 
command T and just move it a little bit from the bottom in here and press enter so the swipe up will fade in slowly also move in to its position when you're done don't forget to expand this text layer until 15 seconds too so it will not disappear in the middle of the video okay we are done so to create a video file in photoshop what you need to do is press file go into export and choose render video choose the where you want to save the file I'm gonna choose document choose the format the quality the document size the frame rate I'm gonna leave it as a default I'm gonna name it sneakers release story and press render and we just wait for the final result so as you see it's pretty easy and if you already create like one or two of the stories it will be easy for you the next time like, like you will remember the steps easily and all the effect that you can create is just pretty easy pretty basic basically not like the other Adobe program like After Effects or Adobe Premiere so we are gonna check the result see looks really smooth even though we created using photoshop so that's it for today tutorial i hope you like it and see you next time